until our setup is uh, ready again, I would like to mention that the very special ingredient of the PSOH conference is that we do not always have just electrical engineers and computer scientists, neither in our audience or neither as invited speakers. So I have a pleasure today to present you Professor Milena Dojcinovic from the Faculty of Philology, University of Belgrade. And she will present a database and internet platform, Knježenstvo. I have two a uh, curiosity to share with you uh, about her presentation. When I read her paper, I was really surprised that the first steps for this database were taken while she was a guest at the Utrecht University. And we have a guest from the Utrecht University today. It was Susan Van Dijk that the Susan van Dijk that you co collaborated with. And also the idea to call you um, um, came to me when I was researching about life of female poet Milica Stodinovic Srpkinja on the internet, and that's how I encountered your database. And I found out that the first entry in the database was about the same poet. So, so two interesting coincidences uh, for your lecture today. Um, I think we are all very eager now to, to hear your presentation. Thank you very much for this introduction and thank you very much for inviting me here. As you can see, I'm coming from literature and from the past. I'm the only one with the paper here, I, I've noticed. But also, I hope that I will make use uh, of the uh, digital things because, um, as you can see, the title of the paper is Women's Writing and Digital Humanities. Uh, Yes, the database, the idea about the database, Knježenstvo, uh, uh, Theory and History of Women's Writing in Serbia and until 1915, was created within, within the research project of the same title, uh, financed by Ministry of Education and Science, and that was the, the final uh, round of these projects, which ended uh, four years ago. Uh, most of you were still in primary school when the project started, so um, it's, a, it's a history already. In addition to database, an electronic journal of a journal for studies in literature, gender and culture was established. It's, it's an online journal and you can, you can see this, of course, everything for free because from the start our idea was that this should be open to usage, uh, not only for the scientists, not only for the further upgrade, but also for everyone who wants to know something about Milica Stojdinu Srpkinja or whoever you can find in the database. You can see here the um, uh, title page of the database. It's uh, based on my experience with internet on, on various institutions. I decided to do this with screenshots. But if you want to see it live, you can go on your phones and uh, just try uh, to see how it works. It's the older one because uh, I wanted to show you this, this sign. Uh, actually, uh, you could go to the, um, to the European database, which was the inspiration for, for this database. I got the idea of uh, making a database and the project around it uh, during the cost action. I hope that all of you know what cost actions are, cooperation in science and technology, and you can apply there. Uh, they're aimed at uh, making networks of uh, researchers f for the various, various disciplines or interdisciplinary networks. Uh, and the title of the action was Women Writers in History, and it had a similar database. Uh, uh, the mentioned uh, Dr. Susan van Dyke uh, was actually the, the creator of that database, and you can read more about it in the, uh, in the interview with her. Um, uh, which we made for the first issue of our journal. So Milica Stojadinovic Srpkinja was actually the first writer whom I entered into the database, which is logical. She's uh, sometimes thought to be the first important or the first uh, modern um, Serbian woman writer. And uh, in case that you don't know who Milica Stojadinovic Srpkinja is, here you go, to Knježenstvo. Uh, thanks to the experience of that with that database, this is the title of page one of the title pages of our journals. Um, of course, uh, we already knew what was uh, what we wanted from this database, 
and what we didn't want from this database uh, at the moment when we wanted to create it. Um, and uh, in digital humanities, there is a, a division between researchers, that's the literary people, the humanities people, and the developers. These are engineers. So we uh, wanted to go to, and, and sometimes we do not understand each other very well. Because in literature, uh, you cannot say uh, this is a fact or this is truth or everything has to be at least uh, to have at least two senses. So that might be the problem, but we had very good understanding with the team, uh, with the team who made this uh, database, and I'm really grateful, and in the name of all the members of Knizhenstvo, and there have been many, many members uh, during the project and still around the Knizhenstvo, I can only say thank you to, to the team who made, who built this database. And I would like to um, mention the names, Boško Nikolic, Zahari Radivojevic, Miloš Cvetanović, Miloš Todorović, Mirko Kirovic. Some of them are not anymore with, uh, within this uh, school of engineering, and uh, some are still uh, collaborating uh, with what was left from the, from the project Knježenstvo. Uh, after the um, four years ago, we um, engaged into, into various uh, European and other projects. You will see it later on the photos. One of these is uh, the area uh, section of the women's writing. And uh, um, I would also like to say something about the history of, uh, of this project, of the idea of presenting women writers. What you see here is the title page of the issue uh, number six of the journal Kniženstvo, uh, and we have uh, put in that journal on the title page and in it also one um, ancient, <laughs> I could say from 1970s, project proposal of a similar, similar thing, like the history of women's writing, of course, in that time that was without a database, and it was rejected. Uh, maybe 15 or 20 years later, I myself wrote something similar and uh, um, applied for that to the Open Society Fund or something like that, and was rejected again. So when I uh, thought about this uh, in 2010, uh, I realized that there must be a database within the center of that project because if I wanted new generations to know something about women writers, it has to be on the internet. And of course, I had this good example from the European Women Writers Database. Uh, the very word knjiženstvo, which all of you who speak Serbian or Slavonic language would think is uh, uh, something, a made-up word made of knjiženstvo and woman, is that so? Uh, and you would be very wrong, because this is the word which I borrowed from the Renaissance Dubrovnik language, and it used to mean književnost, literature. It used to mean literature. Now, in Serbian, thanks to the project, uh, people use it to um, assign uh, the meaning of women's writing or the research of women, women's writing. And you can see here uh, an example. There is a book published in 2017, a serious research, uh, which is entitled Knježenstveni grad, uh, a city of, of women's writing. So uh, we really like, when I say we, I mean the members of the project Knježenstvo, we really like uh, when this word is being used in the, at the right place, of course. The basic sources for the research. When we started the database, the idea was that we would have about 50, 50 names in our database. And everybody would ask us, oh, where will you find 50 women writers? How is that possible? So the basic, uh, we knew where we would find it. Here are the basic uh, publications that helped us. One was from 110 years ago, and another one was a very a uh, well done bibliography was made in 1936 and when you go to the final pages of that bibliography you can see how the digital humanities and databases were actually based on what is now called uh, library science. The way they made these indexes actually show you what we have in, in database now. I will not show that, I will just show the title pages so that you can recognize it. You can find both of the sources in the database. 
uh, scanned and uh, you can go through it reading it. Again, this is the, the title page because I want to tell you what you can find in there. This is one of the, the entries uh, devoted to Jelena Dimitrievic, one of the most important, I can say, uh, Serbian women writers who is now finally back to, uh, into the school programs. Thanks to, I would say, a lot, thanks to Knižensto and what we did. You can, you can see what we have in this database. Uh, we have uh, fields like author works, reception, serial publications. When we started the database, we knew that we don't want it to be just reception. The European Writers Database started as a, a database based on receptions. But our culture doesn't have that power of emission. We don't have much reception throughout the world. So it would be, again, a kind of colonization, you know, to, to show how, how little you are read outside uh, the Serbian language and the Slavonic word, uh, world in, in general. So we decided to, do, to base it on the authors, their works, of course, receptions. And it's not a full text database. Um, it's not the database where you can go for the, for the full text, but you can find some. If they're on the internet, we link them. So very often you can find some full text or you can find a way to, to read what a certain writer uh, had written, if it's scanned or published by somebody else. Uh, and this is the uh, moment when the, the prototype of the database was presented. Uh, you can see that was a cost actions workshop uh, organized in Belgrade. And at, at that moment, we had like 10 uh, writers in, in our database. Now we have uh, maybe, if you, if you don't know, could you guess how many writers we have? What would you say? Women writers in the database. Those who have read my paper on the, on the internet do not count. So, 176. So, the idea was, as I said, to, to start with, I think, 50. I'm not even sure, maybe even 30. But I know that everybody was asking, where will you find them? And, of course, you can see uh, some of our colleagues here, uh, Professor Zahari, I think Mirko Kirovic, and, and Miloš, the other Miloš was, yeah. Um, and this was uh, during one of the presentations of our, of, uh, our uh, journal, Kniženstvo, which we used to do in the beginning. So, um, I just want to show you, uh, this, uh, this was on the occasion of one of our, um, <clears throat> also one of our conferences, so we showed all the, all the papers that had something to do with Kniženstvo. Uh, this is uh, the book that we had to uh, provide at a certain point of our project, but we, we were much more interested in the database. And I, I must say that in the beginning, uh, we didn't know how to evaluate certain, certain parts of it. For instance, that, that's the problem with, with the interdisciplinary projects. We would say, and what will we say about the database? How, what M, you know, uh, should we assign to it? Uh, because this is an innovation. And the answer we got, this has never been. Of course, it has never been. That's innovation. That, that's the point of innovation. So you, you have to follow well the things that happen. So certain problems were uh, during, during our project. And now we go on as the platform that has a slightly different name. And we were awarded for for the gendered knowledge and the the creation and the and the dissemination of the gendered knowledge. And here is what the legacy is: database you saw, journal, journal still exists, and I hope it will go on. We also have publication. Uh, all of these publications are on our website. Uh, now the name of the of the platform is Literature, Gender, and Culture. And you can go there and download any of these books, uh, because this is our policy, that everything should be open to you. There is just one, one thing in English language. But these two books, for instance, that you see, they were manuscripts kept in the National Library of Serbia. And we managed in the project to uh, decipher them, basically, and to, to publish them and present to the, to the wider audience. 
this is one thing that is different from the European database of the women writers. That's the section for periodicals in database knjenstva, not used enough because um, it, it has its own problems, not technical, but um, to put periodicals in database it's a whole new project. So we hope it will be used. We don't want to give up on it, but uh, we are not feeling it now at, at the moment. Okay, so here's some, some outcomes of, of our project. At one certain point, um, we invented genocentric walks in Belgrade, uh, for which we would use um, uh, interactive map, Google map, and in that map uh, you could go, you can make, um, a, well, real walk, uh, and uh, wh whichever you press, for instance, um, uh, the house of Jelena Dimitrievich, if you press it, uh, you have a link there, and then you go to the, of course, Kinjenstvo database, and you can learn more about the author. And uh, on the previous slide, you could see we also had the, our guides, which were, the, these were the stu uh, students and members of the, of the project Kinjenstvo. And also, so here's the uh, Belgrade, mm, genocentric Belgrade map if you want to go to see it, but I don't think that this is very usable this way, but uh, you can send it later, yeah? Uh, yeah, but uh, I, I'm observing time, so, so anyone who's interested, you can write to me on knjenstvo at gmail.com and I can send you the link, so that's knjenstvo, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, so here is the, again, the title of the project, uh, actually now of the platform for learning about women writers that we simplified. Uh, and we are also members of the Women Writers Route. This is one of the cultural routes of the uh, Council of Europe. And within that project, uh, uh, last year, last December, was opened um, in the National Library of Serbia. There was a big uh, uh, exhibition of the three authors that are uh, within that Women Writers uh, Route. These are Jelena Dimitrievich. This one, I suppose that you know. It's Isidora Sekulic, and this is much more difficult to guess who this is, but you surely know about her. That's Desenka Maksimovic, only young, because uh, whenever you see her photo, you would see a photo of an old lady who wanted to present her when she was um, youthful and, uh, and beautiful. And of course, uh, uh, what I'm uh, really proud of are these QR codes that uh, would lead you, guess where? If you go there and uh, go there, what do you think, where would you end up with this QR code? At Knjenstvo, of course. So you see, we have the Serbian side and the English side, and we don't have Zdesanka Maksimovic in Knjenstvo because she doesn't fall into the time range, and uh, I can tell you she would need a database on, it, on her own, and she has it in, in, the, um, in the institution which is devoted to her. So, uh, there are things that still happen within our project. This is when we get the certificate. Um, and I hope it will go on in the future because um, I can see that there are many, many problems and many things still to be, to be solved about keeping the, the past of women's writing. We have to secure funding for the database to ensure its growth and just to maintain it. Then um, I think that very useful thing would be visualization of the achieved results because that might help in finding the funds because it shows you uh, what we have done and what is in there. Uh, I would really like this uh, database to be a, uh, used at all levels of teaching, but also outside academia and outside schools for the things like uh, that genocentric walk or something. But then you always have to observe what is happening with this because it can, it can really go in to become something else, um, uh, like, you know, uh, things can get really trivial or banal in, in that way. Uh, I think that the constant presence on the internet is very important for uh, uh, young people to learn about women writers, Serbian women writers, and of course the protection of, of legal rights. We don't use that uh, um, certificate on our database, we use it, the common uh, um, uh, 
the common license or whatever we use it for the for the journal because that's mandatory we have to do it uh, but maybe we could use it and we have noticed during the time that uh, things for the database were quoted in a wrong way it's not it's not the problem if you use it that's that's what it is there for but don't use it in a wrong way don't don't use it uh, for the for the wrong purposes which we cannot really um, prevent that that's the bad thing in it okay so um, once again this is the database of women writers and uh, I would like to thank the developers and engineers and the friends from from the School of Engineering in creating it in the name of all the members who have gone through the project and still are there and thank you for your attention Fantastic. Uh, I enjoyed your talk very much. Do we have a question? Uh, Milica? No? Uh, I have one, if I may. Uh, we've been collaborating a lot here with uh, Wikimedia Serbia, and they organized many events about writing on famous females in, in Serbia. So have you had any collaboration with them, because I was truly surprised to find more information about uh, 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 female poets on your website and not on the Wikipedia. Oh, you wouldn't, uh, it, it's a good thing that you found more on our website. Uh, we did have, at one point, did start uh, um, collaboration, but I don't know, it just uh, somehow uh, didn't last very, very long. And when we started making this, this database within the COS project, there were comments like, but this is more or less like uh, Wikipedia or um, Wikimedia or whatever. Uh, it wasn't, it's not important. The important thing was that we started it and that the things keep going on and that they are growing This in the right direction. So, I mean, when I say the right direction, that means that somebody has to edit database and uh, the same was with the with the Wikipedia but I remember that maybe one year or two years we did work some work with them and then it simply stopped so <laughs> sorry to hear that but it's nice that you also have that experience yeah. um, oh, also here yeah. maybe sorry. Thank you for your wonderful presentation and you were very kind with you for the credits at the end. Thank you. And the impact is great. I was thrilled to see that now that the word knjenstvo has a special meaning in Serbia and it is adapted, so it's fantastic. Well, yes, but when I say in the right way, that's the right way, but you can also find the website which has something knjenstveno or something in it and that's, that's like, uh, you know, like a beauty thing or something <laughs> like that or, or about the novels which, which we do not consider novels, but that's a thing that we cannot control, so <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Yes. And I was just wondering, uh, is there, you, you mentioned the, the future of, of the past, and is there anything that you right now can articulate the, where the technology can help in your endeavors to make it more available or with cooperation with other databases, like open issues that you now can recognize that, that are of technological nature? Uh, I think, as I said, that the visualization of some of the results would help a lot. Uh, I think that if we, if we make it really visible, what have we done or what could be found in the database, that would help us with uh, funding, finding the, the new funds. I, that, that's the first thing that I would uh, ask for. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you again.